I'm Sharon Carpenter Ruse. You're watching the first broadcast of WRPN, Washington Room and Picture News. I'm here with my co-host, Kevin Troy. Thank you, Sharon. Good evening, everyone. First off, I'm very excited to talk about Roman Pictures this evening. Uh, we have a lot of projects that are coming up. Uh, Pappy's Raiders, Signals, we're going back into that again, which I'm excited about, and Time Refugees, which I'm extremely excited about. Um, as well as having a new actor that just joined the team, uh, the Roman Pictures family, that's coming in uh, this evening to talk to us later on in the show. And at the top of the show, we're going to talk about Pappy's Raiders, a new movie that Roman Pictures is going to be doing based on a book by Jimmy Pappy Brown. Just recently, the producer and myself, Carlos Roman, went down to meet Pappy Brown. Uh, we also were able to tour the Barksdale Air Force Base. We also spoke with three TV stations while we were there, did three interviews. Two of the TV stations were in Louisiana and one in Texas. And right now is a clip coming up. You can see it one of the interviews that we did. From the jungles of Vietnam to the woods of Barksdale Air Force Base, an Arklatex man has teamed up with a movie producer to tell his true story. KSLA News 12's Carolyn Roy takes us there. We hit them hand to hand and that's when the bayonet went come front to my right side right here. I still got a scar there. Retired Army Sergeant and Vietnam vet Jimmy Brown has a lot of war stories to tell. But we were fighting them and <clears throat> Then it caught us. Pappy looked out. Just as I started to get up and turn, he jumps over me, shooting. He says, I got him, Pappy. He, he jumps over me. And they hit him. Right here. I grabbed him, pulled him up my arms, and I was shooting at the same time. Yeah. There were four of them that I got. But that blonde headed sucker, he was dead. To this day, I never will forget him. He's even written a book about his three and a half years in Vietnam, Pappy's Raiders. It's been flying off local bookstore shelves and captured the imagination of independent filmmaker Carlos Roman. When Vinick dies, that's the one that really, um, really grabbed me. Although there are other ones, because all of them get shot at one point or another. Um, Pappy was the, 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 the one that held them together. Today, Roman and Brown are scouting locations for the movie at Barksdale Air Force Base. The woods right there is thick, browry, and the same kind of trees and, uh, that we've traipsed through all the time. All to bring the true story of Pappy's Raiders back to life. Basically, well, I read the book, obviously, uh, was the, the camaraderie, the friendship that they developed and how they, could, they were able to count on each other regardless of race, regardless of uh, where they came from or any difference they had, they had to put aside. And that's very, very important in the movie. This is the story of what I went through, what the men went through, and what I think people should know about. A story Roman feels must be told. This, this movie needs to be made because Poppy is a real hero. A story that, although emotional, Jimmy Brown is happy to share. I told her wife, I said, I feel like I'm floating. She said, come down to earth, boy. <laughs> At Barksdale Air Force Base, Carolyn Roy, KSLA News 12. Well, Roman is scouting locations in South Louisiana as well. Jimmy Brown will act as a consultant for the movie, and he'll appear in a cameo. Shooting is expected to begin in the spring. Currently on the production for Pappy's Raiders, a series of investors has donated 600 acres of land right now for the filming, which closely resembles the jungles of Vietnam. Not to mention the fact that Barksdale Air Force Base has given unlimited access to their facilities, which is another impressive deal. Sparksdale's Air Force Base, Marine Corps, I'm sorry, I'm a little jealous of that. Either or, right now, Pappy's Raiders has a website that's currently being worked on. Uh, it's under construction, so it will be available soon to the viewers, so stand by for that. And not to mention, you can also find out more information if you go to romanpictures.com website or the imdb.com website as well. Sharon? And now let's talk about Time Refugees, our new movie that we're filming. We just started filming that. I've done a few scenes. We've already shot some scenes in our Richmond studio. And Kevin has already done some of his scenes, the opening sequences in Alexandria and Bowie. And actually, I think we're going to see a clip of some of the work that you've done. Yes, yes. This scene here in particular, uh, it's the warden scene. My character is released from jail, unusually so. Instead of just leaving, he has to meet the warden. and. Uh, I won't talk about it any further. Let's just take a look at it. Why don't you make it easy on yourself? The formula asked, and just give them the formula, and they'll make sure you have a very long, happy, and wealthy life. I get it now. So it's either you guys get the formula, or no one else does. Is that it? Really? 
Nice try, fat ass. No need for name calling, Mr. Phelps. Especially since you may be living under my roof again for a long time. You better start running. Not much time left. I'm gonna get you back for this. I promise you, I'm gonna get you back. I can't wait to have you living under my roof again! Call the EGAs, tell them he didn't budge, and they can come and get him! Well, that was a nice clip, but you didn't have any special effects going in there or anything real exciting, right? So maybe we need to let the viewers see some of that. We did have some sequences that we shot down in Richmond that have a lot of our special effects in it, and you're going to see one of our new actors in this clip coming up right here. I do green screen. Oh no. Are you guys experiencing this? What's going on? <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're here right now joined by Mr. Philip Chang. And uh, Philip plays a character on Time Refugees. His name is uh, Chi Chao. He is one of the last survivors of China, along with his sister uh, Jap. Now, um, Philip came on board to Roman Pictures. He's uh, purely raw talent and you couldn't tell if you're working with him on set. I had the uh, pleasure of being able to see him in action on set a couple of weeks ago and it was absolutely fabulous. So again, welcome on board, uh, Philip. Thanks. And if you can, man, tell me a little bit about this last scene we just took a look at. You look really relaxed. Talk to me. <laughs> sure. Um, so the scene that we did, um, it was introducing um, the Chinese crew, I guess. So, so at this point in the movie, I guess the good guys are kind of running with the bad guys and then there's this, you know, everybody's in the ships and they're flying around and, you know, it's going to look really cool once they do the special effects and everything. Um, and then they, they encounter this ship that's helping them, but they don't know who they are. Right. And so they're, um, but at the moment they're helping them, so it's, you know, let them help us, we'll take it. And then after all the fighting's over, they establish radio contact and you see them for the first time and it's, you know, these two Asian people. Mm -hmm. um, and we're supposed to be, like you said, the last, uh, the two last survivors from the whole nation of China. Okay. Um, and then we start to, to converse about, you know, um, who are we? And we try to, we're, we're, we're young, we're scared kids, and um, they want us, we want to join the good guys. Uh, what were your thoughts when Carlos Merriman actually in, ended up asking you if you, you wanted to be represented by us, and then you ended up landing kind of a major role with us, a speaking role? What were your thoughts about that? Um, I mean, at first, you know, I was, I was thrilled. Um, just, you know, you want something and you hear yes. That's always a good feeling, um, um, but you know, like I was also a little skeptical. I think that, and and you know, obviously, no offense, but um, you know, I know that, like, I don't have much experience. I don't have anything I can put on paper, any you know, real like reels I can show. Um, kind of like, how does he does he actually know that I'm good, or is he just trying to use me? You know, that kind of thing. It, mm -hmm. that, you know, right. happens sometimes. Oh, um, yeah, actually, a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what do you think of Carlos Roman now that you've started working with him? Because I know you came into the initial audition. I remember meeting you there, and uh, you did a fabulous job at the audition. Um, I knew you were destined to work with Roman Pictures in some way or another, or eventually see you somewhere out there. So you're truly a very talented gentleman. Now, but I have to ask you, what's your impression now of working with Carlos Roman? Uh, you saw him in the audition phase. Now you see him behind the cameras and giving ample direction. Um, what's your your views or opinion on that one? Um, no, definitely. I mean, I've. I have to say I'm impressed. Um, I like. I was. I'm definitely like. I was glad I had a chance to to actually work with him. I think that's because that's <laughs> where you learn about what people are like. Because when you're actually working with right. him, and that's been a very positive experience. Um, he's a guy who, you know, um, and I think that that goes for everybody that I've worked with so far. Actually, it's, pretty, it's been a good experience. Um, he's he's professional. He's, um, but not uptight and not right. anal about anything. You um, just met him. You just met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. been good work with him. He's uptight with me still, but I'm you, know, you just met. I know <laughs> he's still uptight you, with me. It's just me. Everybody picks on me. It's always pick on Kevin. You will learn this on the set.